What is good? What is good? Ice Ace Beats here in the studio. I want to talk about hi hats today. Hi hats is the topic of discussion. It is the glue to your beats. It puts everything together. So let's dive in and let's talk about it. Let's go. All right, so the first tip, I got the notes here on my iPad because I'm not, I'm not here to play. Tip number one is adding rolls to your hi-hats, but making them intentional, all right? So we gotta make our hi-hat rolls intentional. All right, let's dive in, let's talk about that real quick. All right, so real simple, check out this beat I got right here. I'm gonna let you listen to it real quick. <laughs> This is pretty straightforward beat. I love it. It's not even done yet. Like we're not, we not done. We might finish at the end of this video. But the key is adding the rolls and adding your hi-hats uh, rolls in intentional spots. You don't wanna just throw in rolls haphazardly just because just it sounds cool. Oh, just throw them here, throw them here. The key is to roll them in before or after a snare hit so or, or a clap hit, right? So let's listen to this real quick. Goes right into the clap, right? So. Right, so we roll right in to where the clap would be would be right here. Right, so we rolled right into that joint, right into the clap. All right, so that's 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 tip number one. Be intentional with your rolls. Just be intentional with your hi hats. Don't don't just be out, be out here putting rolls everywhere, just because it sounds good or, or you think it sounds good. Because the reality is, it, it probably don't sound that good. It probably just sounds messy all over the place. It's hard for a listener or an artist or anybody that's. Uh, another producer listening to the beat, it's hard for them to follow when there's too much going on. It's not intentional, it's just it's just everywhere. Alright, you feel me? So make it intentional. Alright, be be intentional. You also can throw in the roll towards the end. What I like to do, and this is kind of like a bonus little tip I'm gonna throw in here as well. You can have it for free. It's all good. I like to kind of switch it up every four to eight bars, typically usually eight, just to kind of make it a little more, you know, keep it a little more repetitive, but also keep it interesting. So as you can tell, this pattern right here literally repeats over, right? This one right here, we literally can copy and paste it over. I'm trying to tell you, it's the same thing. Look, boom, it's the same thing. The only difference, the only difference, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this up. The only difference between this section and this section, right, is this last little piece right here. These, these, these last little, this is it, this is the only difference, right? So, smart, something I would recommend, something that's that I do a lot, switch it up right at the end, all right? So that's when you could throw in some rolls. I did a, a like a, a, you know, a digre digre digression. I did a, I don't even know what you call this. I did a roll like this. You know what I'm saying? I think it's one third on the one third time stamp. Yep, one third time stamp. I did a roll, kind of, and then I did another one going down. Do, 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 do. Tip number two is sound design. Yes, sound design. I know I, that's that's like what like like what are you talking about? Like sound design. It's a hi hat. Like what else can you do with the hi hat? Like sound design. All right. So I put this in its own section because a lot of people I feel like they don't do this. Like you have a lot of freedom, especially in FL Studio, to hone in on your hi hats, make them better. Um, you could tweak some things in the settings uh, within the sound, right? We can add effects like reverb and all that stuff, which I'm gonna cover in just a second. But the possibilities are endless when it comes to sound designing after you laid out the hi-hats. Like you've already laid them out or sometimes I'll do it while I'm laying them out to kind of get the sound I want before I even you know, lay out the pattern. But either way, you wanna mess with some of this stuff that I'm gonna talk about in just a second here. All right? So we got, we got some, this sounds pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. But we can play with some stuff, all right? We can go into the actual settings of the hi-hat. We can tell it, it starts a little bit late, which, you know what, that kind of sounds cool, I'm not gonna lie. But we can fool with that. Let's go to the uh, end time. Not the end, uh, the start time right here. That's that first knob right here, it says SMP start. All right, and we can shift that over and see what it sounds like, what it shifted over a little bit. You can mess with the out time. I tend to do this a lot, depending on if I want a thinner snare, I want the snare to kind of be a little more thin, I might do this. So let me let me show you. Let me go all the way and let's let me just show you. And it's the out knob right here. So let's let's shift it back a little bit. Let's see what it sounds like. We're just just a little bit at it. It don't sound too bad. I, I kind of like it just the way it is though. 
feel like it fills the space more, but say you want a thinner hi-hat, that's a perfect opportunity to use that knob, right? Another thing that you can do as well is throw some reverb on that joint. You can't go wrong with reverb, all right? I tend to throw it on there anyways, but man, reverb changed the game. Let's throw a little re reverb on there. <laughs> Honestly, even if you can't hear this, you can definitely feel it. And when you put the rest of this track together with the sounds and mixes, this will make or break your track. It will, it really will. Like it really will, it'll really be a difference. Like you'd be like, whoa, like whose man is this? This is fire. Cause you're adding these small, subtle pieces. I talk about this all the time, subtle pieces to the puzzle. Another cool thing you can do as well is within the channel rack itself, we can mess with the velocity, we can mess with the panning. That's what we're gonna do right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the bottom left, not bottom left, sorry. The bottom where it says control, I'm gonna right click, right? And you could just, you have the, the option to choose the, the pan, the velocity, the release, all that stuff, the fine pitch, which is down here. And what we're gonna do, I, what I like to do is I like to, to pan left and right the rolls. So say this first roll right here, as you can tell it's right here. Maybe we go like this and just pan it to the left. Or that's to the right, I'm sorry, pan it to the right. So up is to the right. Right? And then maybe we go to this next one and we pan that to the left. Not all the way, not all the way. And we go like this, pan that one to the right. Then we do left and then right. Oops. Ba Boom. We can mess with the, the panning. I mean, not the panning, I'm sorry, the velocity as well, which I like to do as well. I like to go in and do every other and just turn them down just a tiny bit. When it comes to the rolls, I tend not to do them, all right? And this is like, we could even do like a roll where the roll kind of builds up, like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And then every other one, I'm kind of messing with the velocity a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Every other one. When it comes to the rolls though, we'll do like a, like a, like a, you know, a rise to it. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. And you don't, it don't gotta be crazy. You don't, you don't have to go crazy with it. All right, tip number three, the last and final tip. It is adding multiple hi-hats. Adding multiple hi-hats, okay? And also leaving space as well when you're creating your hi-hats. So let's go ahead and talk about that. You got this hi-hat. Uh, it's, it's fire, right? I wanna add another one though. I wanna add another one. Like what, add another one? Yeah, I wanna add another one. All right, we're gonna add another one. Typically what I like to do is I, if, if the hi-hat has a lot of space, right? Then we can add another hi-hat. So you add the hi-hat, you, you leave the space. Like leave the space. If you're gonna leave the space like this one right here. I mean, you've heard it already this whole time. So leaving space in the track. What I usually do when I add in the second one, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on a layer real quick. What I usually do is, I usually just keep it simple. I don't be trying to do too much. You know what I mean? That's my, that should be my middle name, don't do too much. But anyways, just, just add two. It's like just every two steps. Fill in each two steps, call it a day. And what I wanna do actually is, shoot, what I wanna really do, let me just backtrack that real quick. What I really wanna do is just, every other one of these, just bring them down. How, how I'm doing that, I'm literally holding shift. Hold, I'm sorry, hold alt, hover over the sound you wanna bring down, just scroll down. So a cool thing I can, I can do as well, I can drag this down maybe one or two. Yo, this is kind of this is kind of far. I'm not gonna lie. Now this effect could be, uh, this same effect could also be implemented or emulated through a delay potentially, right? But you're always gonna get a different type of sound when you're actually layering another hi hat, right? Or doing a delay or doing something different. If you're doing it a different way, you're gonna get a different sound. Period. You know what I'm saying? You could potentially get a similar sound, but it's not always, it's not gonna be the same, right? It's just not gonna be the same. So experiment with this. This is a great way to fill in those spaces, but create, just create some more like complexity in your hi-hats while like, cause you're stacking them up, right? You're layering them 
And this could be like giving, giving more energy in like the chorus of a track, right? Or um, a certain part of the track, and then maybe you could take them out. Also, real quick, I want you to check out this hi-hat midi pack that I'm giving away. It's called Hats Off. Link is in the description. I got about 10 plus hi-hat midis, as well as some cool bonuses as well that I tossed in here as well. So go check that out. Other than that, I will see you in the next one. Peace.